sciatica disc herniation. What is sciatica? Sciatica is pain radiating along the course of the sciatic nerve, which runs from the lower back to the buttock, through the back of the thigh, and into the lower leg and foot. Sciatica pain usually affects one side of the body. Sometimes this pain is called lumbar radiculopathy or true sciatica. Sciatica is not a diagnosis. It is a symptom of an underlying condition. It usually caused by disc herniation. And the pain is usually a nerve pain that can be a sharp shooting pain like an electric shock that radiates into the leg and the foot. There may be burning and tingling pain and some numbness. The patient may not be able to stand or walk. Patient may have some weakness. Symptoms of sciatica is usually felt in different areas of the leg and the foot, depending on which nerve root is involved. Sudden movements, such as sneezing or coughing, may also aggravate the sciatic nerve making the pain worse. The pain is better during walking or lying down, but the pain is worse with sitting. Sitting will place tension on the sciatic nerve or stretching the nerve. When we're talking about lumbar disc herniation, the intervertebral disc is a cushion that has a soft inner material called the nucleus pulposus that may leak out or herniate. This soft inner material is surrounded or encased by an outer strong fibrous layer and it's called the annulus fibrosus. When the nucleus pulposus herniates through a tear in the annulus fibrosus, this will irritate the close by nerve and create sciatica. Sciatica is one of the most common symptoms of lumbar disc herniation. Usually the disc herniates in a posterolateral direction and usually it affects to a nerve root. The most commonly affected level is L5 S1, which will affect S1 nerve root, and L4 L5, which will affect L5 nerve root. The best examination of the lumbar disc herniation is straight leg raising sign or the tension sign. There will be pain and paresthesia at 30 to 70 degrees of leg elevation. The elevation will reproduce the leg pain. The straight leg raise sign will usually diagnose L5 or S1 radiculopathy or nerve root irritation. You may get a decreased Achilles tendon reflex. The patient may have some sensation problems at the foot. The lateral side of the foot is S1. The top of the foot is L5. And the medial side of the foot is L4. MRI is the best study for diagnosing lumbar disc herniation. We should not rely on the MRI findings alone. We need to correlate the exam and the history with the MRI findings. Don't assume the lumbar disc herniation is causing the sciatica. The majority of the patient will improve with non-operative treatment such as rest, physiotherapy, anti-inflammatory medication, and some muscle relaxant. Who is a good candidate for surgery? A good surgical candidate will have sciatica, leg pain, tension sign, which is positive straight leg raise, abnormal neurological findings, and MRI findings, which is consistent with the neurological examination. Surgery will entail removal of the herniated disc. The most common cause of sciatica is a disc herniation, but there are other causes that can mimic sciatica or lumbar radiculopathy. You need to consider differential diagnosis because we may end with the wrong diagnosis, delaying the treatment, or doing unnecessary surgery. 
because of the patient complaint of sciatica and the MRI shows a disc herniation, it does not mean that disc herniation is causing the sciatica for the patient because there's a lot of asymptomatic disc bulge or herniation in asymptomatic people. So immediately when we have a patient with sciatica and when we get the MRI, we think the disc herniation is causing the symptoms. So you need to correlate the findings of the MRI with the clinical examination of the patient. And you need also to differentiate posterolateral disc herniation from a central disc herniation. Central disc herniation will affect the bladder and the bowel function, saddle anesthesia, and lower extremity weakness. And that's called coda equina syndrome, which is an emergency. If you suspect coda equina syndrome, you need to get MRI immediately and do the surgery urgently. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.